Hello, everyone. It's Jarrett Moore again with the Enterprise DNA team. Back again today with another follow up video on bookmarks. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I utilize bookmarks. For example, if I have multiple bookmarks throughout the pages of my report, here is how I'm going to show you today how I'm going to actually group those and organize those in a fashion to make it easier to navigate between each one of those bookmarks. Before I show you how to use this technique, let's head on over to the Enterprise DNA Forum. How I got this idea for this video is a recent post on the Enterprise DNA Forum. As you can see on this post here, John Griffiths from the Enterprise DNA Forum had a question on trying to upload an idea to get bookmark management implemented in a future Power BI update. The link to this forum post will be in the description below. What's great about the Enterprise DNA Forum is we have lots of people on there giving their thoughts and opinions, and this is a perfect example of what happens on the forums. As I scroll down the page here, you're gonna see there's different people in the forum that gave their suggestions to her. And as we scroll down here, Heather, that is on the Enterprise DNA Forum, suggested a grouping feature of bookmarks. And this is something that she uses in her day-to-day uh, -day use of Power BI if she has a report that has multiple bookmarks. After seeing this post on the forum, and Heather's thoughts, I came up with the idea for this video. I think it's a great opportunity to give this tip because I'm sure a lot of you out there didn't know that you were able to group your bookmark. So enough of this talk about the post on the forum here. Let's head on over to the Power BI desktop and I'll show you how we create these bookmarks and group them. This is the original page of my report for one of the Power BI challenges that we recently just had. And what I've done is I've copied or duplicated this page numerous times. So I renamed this one breakdown version two. And what I have up here is I have a filter for the purchase orders and a filter for the materials. And then I just duplicated this page and called it breakdown version three. It's the same page, same form up, format, but this is how we're going to come up with the bookmarks and then group them accordingly. So first things first, I'll go back over here to the home tab. And first thing that I'm going to do is click on the view tab at the top. And we're gonna open up the bookmarks pane and we're gonna open up the selection pane. Now with the bookmarks pane here, you can already see from page one of my report in the breakdown, the PO bookmark and the material bookmark were already used on this very first page. What we're gonna do now is create more bookmarks and then group them. Okay, let's head on over to the breakdown version two page. And what I'm gonna do is add a couple of bookmarks to this page, just simply by hitting the add button over here in the bookmarks tab. So I'll hit add once, and then I'll hit add again. And then we can rename, rename bookmark three. We'll just name that PO version two. And then for this one, we'll call this one material version two. Now for each of these bookmarks, what I'm going to do is hide. So for the material bookmark, I want to hide the purchase order splicer and then vice versa for the PO bookmark, per PO bookmark version two, I want to hide the material slicer on this page. So let's select the material and then we're going to hide the purchase order. If I just hover, or if I just Click on the purchase order here. I can find out this is where the slicer is. Click on this button right here to hide that visual. And then we're gonna hit update. So that shows there. Now, if I go over to the PO version two, what we're gonna do here is we're going to highlight the material slicer and hide that from this one. And now I'll hit update. And now we should be good to go. Once we go back to the material, the purchase orders is hidden. And when I go back to the PO version two, we can see that the material was hidden. Now what we're gonna do is head over to the breakdown version three page, and we're gonna do the same thing that we just did before. 
I'm going to go over to the bookmarks tab and hit the add button twice. And then we're going to call bookmark five. We'll call that PO version three. And we'll call this one material version three. So for the material version three bookmark, I'm going to hide the purchase order slicer. Hit the update button. And then we'll go back over to the PO version three bookmark and we will hide the material slicer on this one and then hit the update. So now we have a material version three and we have a PO version three on this page. Now what we're going to do is go into each one of these, each one of these and group them. So it's easier to manage these bookmarks that have not only similar names, but they could be confused very easily if we had numerous pages in this report and it could lead you down a rabbit hole that you don't want to go down to. So since we're on page three here, what we're going to do is I already have the PO version three selected. If you hold down the control key and click on the three ellipses here, And now that you get several options on here, if I hit the word group, I can group these two bookmarks. This is what we want to do since they're on the same page. And then I can rename this group. Let's call it breakdown version three. So now we know that this group contains all of the bookmarks that are on page three. Now, if we go over to page two, we can do the same thing. For the PO, if I select PO version two, and then I hold down the control key and click on the three ellipses. Okay, finally got it to work here. So now once again, we're gonna hit group, and then I'll name that group, breakdown version two. For time purposes, I won't go in and do the first page, but uh, at least you, you see the examples here and how you can group these bookmarks into several different groups so that you, if you had these, you had multiple bookmarks across your report, this would help you out tremendously in organizing your bookmark. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.